hello welcome back to this channel so today we will solve a new problem and this is about uh, projection of line and how to find out the true length of a line that means a straight line so the problem is given here a line AB has its end A 25 mm above the HP and 35 mm in front of VP and the end B is 80 mm above the HP and 70 mm in front of the VP. If the end projectors are 70 mm apart, draw the top view and the front view in the first angle projection system. Determine its true length and true inclinations with the reference planes. So this problem has got three aspects. One is to draw the top view and the front view and we have to follow the first angle projection system then determine its true length true length of the line and true inclination with the reference planes so first of all we will draw the top view and the front view so the line AB has its one end A 25 mm above so on the drawing sheet First we can do a rough sketch. So this is for example is the reference plane and A point A is 25 mm above the HP. That means it will show in the front view. So this is A prime. That means this is the front view of that point A and 35 mm in front of VP. So that means this will show below the reference line, 35. So this will be A. So this is the top view of that point and this is the front view of the point. And now it says that the point B, the second point, A, A, B, the line A, B has got two extreme points, A and B. So B is 80 mm above the HP and 70 mm in front of the VP but we don't know where to plot this one but further information is given if the end projectors are 70 mm apart so end projectors means the end projectors they are projected onto this reference line and they are 70 mm apart so that means from here we have to go 70 mm and here we have to draw a line and the point so point b projectors are here point b is 80 mm above hp so it will show the prime that means the front view and 70 mm in front of vp so it will show in the top view so let's say somewhere here so this is B. So basically the projections are like this. So this is the front view and this is the top view. So this is a given and now we have to find, so we have done the first part, now we have to find the true length. So now I will switch to the drawing sheet and let's draw this. So first we will draw a reference line. So reference line X and Y. So reference line should be thin line. And with reference to this line, we will locate the, the front view and the top view of the point A. So it said that the point A is, is 25 mm above the HP. So here we will go 25 mm and 35 mm below 
in front of the VP. Here. So we just draw a construction line here. So now we have drawn the front view of the point A and the top view of point A. So point A is one extreme, one uh, extreme point of the line AB. Now as we have done in our rough sketch, we have to go 70 mm here because the projectors are 70 mm apart. So Seventy will be here. So seventy mm apart. And let's draw a line perpendicular to the reference line. This side also we have to draw a little bit longer. Now it says the point B. So the front view and the top view of point B will be on this side. So B is 80 mm above the HP. So this is 80 mm above the HP so it will come in the front view and 70 mm in front of the VP. Okay, so we have identified um, this B prime, which is the front view of the point B, and this is B, which is the top view of the point B. So now we can connect these two lines to make the top view and the front view. Now this is the, um, the projection so we will use a little bit thicker line. So we have solved the first part of the problem which is draw the top view and the front view in the first angle projection system. So this is the top view and this is the front view. So next uh, we have to find out the true length and the inclination. So for true length, so whenever you are given this kind of the top view and the front view of a line and you are asked to find out the true length and the inclination because the line, actual line is inclined to both the HP and the VP. So it has got different angle with HP and VP. So it is not parallel to either of these. So, so we have to find those angles. What is the angle with the HP and what is the angle with the VP. So first 
first you draw a line lines parallel to the reference line okay same thing we will do here and you can see that I'm drawing very thin line because these are all construction lines and therefore this should be thin lines so next uh, what we have to do is to with draw an arc with A as the center and B A B here A, A, A prime and B prime this this is the front view and you draw this arc until it reaches this plane same thing we will do here now for these intersections we will draw a vertical line We will draw this vertical line until it touches this this line. So we will draw similarly we will draw from this intersection straight line until this line okay so now we will connect this Similarly, we will connect this with A. We will de designate this as B1 and B2. So now, what we have done is, we have found the true length so this is the true length of the line this is also the true length so they should be equal so let's see how what is the length it is 96 millimeter and this side this side also 96 millimeter so it is now we can say the true length is 96 millimeter.
so on a in engineering drawing we should always use follow the lettering method of writing any letters and numbers so we have found the true length and both from this side and this side both shows the same 96 millimeter now we have to find the inclination so so this is the front view that means this inclination will tell us the inclination of the line with the HP because whatever inclination with the HP it's shown in the front view so this is the inclination so let's find out So this is nearly thirty four. So 34 degree is the angle of the line with the HP. This is about 26 so now we have found first of all we we were asked to draw the top view and the front view in first angle projection system so we drew the front view and this is the top view second we were asked to determine its true length and true inclinations with the reference planes so we drew the we drew the true length of the line so these are the true lengths and the length we found was 96 millimeter and the inclination of the line with the HP was found here in the top view this is 34 degree and this is 26 degree so this is the solution of the given problem so thank you very much for your attention and uh, I would appreciate if you could like this video and also subscribe to this channel thank you very much